Whether you're a restaurant owner getting customer feedback or a student conducting academic research, surveys are a great way to get the information you need. But it can be tricky to know how to get started. Join us in this video tutorial to learn how to conduct a survey for free with JotForm. By following these few quick steps and collecting survey responses from any device, you'll enjoy an easy way to collect and analyze important survey data online. Before you start making your survey, you'll need a plan of action. What are you hoping to accomplish? Who is your primary demographic? Are you looking for answers to specific questions or for general feedback? Set a goal for the number of responses you want to receive so that you can get a big enough data pool without getting overwhelmed by too many responses. Once you define your research goals, you can start adding questions to your survey. JotForm offers over 500 free survey templates to get you started, which are fully customizable with our drag and drop form builder. Not only can you update questions, but you can change design elements by adding your logo, uploading photos, and choosing new fonts and colors. If you'd like to start from scratch instead, you'll have a few question types to choose from. Opt for multiple choice questions, ask open-ended or close-ended questions, or use ranking and rating scales depending on what you'd like to ask. You can also add matrix questions or include demographic related questions to get a better idea of who is filling out your forms. You should only include questions you need answers to and make your surveys as short and to the point as possible. If your questions are too long or confusing, people may get discouraged and abandon your survey altogether. Once you've got your survey looking and working great, you can quickly embed it in your website, share it with a link, or invite people to fill it out via email. Now that your survey is out in the wild, you'll need to decide on a timeline for it. For example, a product feedback survey should be sent out one to two weeks after the customer has received the product, whereas a restaurant feedback survey should always be available on your website for customers to fill out. Choosing the right timeline can help you get the right number of responses and make a better impression on the people filling out your forms. If you've started collecting responses but aren't getting as many as you need, don't worry. Creating an incentive for survey responders can give them the extra nudge they need in order to make it to the submit button. You can offer discount codes for money off of their next purchase, enter them in a raffle if they complete your survey, or offer another type of incentive that works well for your industry. After you've got all the submissions you need, it's time to close your survey and analyze the survey data. View quick reports and job form tables to instantly look for specific themes and trends in your responses and gain valuable insights. Or go to JotForm Report Builder to make reports that are more complex. In JotForm Report Builder, you can choose to create reports using pie charts, bar charts, and other data analysis tools. You can create PDF reports that are downloadable or shareable in seconds, or even generate embedded reports that update in real time when you receive new survey responses. Conducting a survey doesn't have to be complicated. By creating a pre-survey strategy and using these easy survey building tips, you can make sure you get all the answers you need the first time around. Thanks for joining our video tutorial. Click the link in the description below to create a free account with JotForm and start collecting survey responses from any device.